everyone welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for watching so um if you haven't already guessed by the name of this video i in about a month's time i'm getting a boob job um i can't actually believe i'm sitting here filming this and sharing it on social media but hey um i am it's something that i have wanted for pretty much as long as i can remember um it's not um it's, it's not something I normally talk about. It's just something that I mean I've never been body confident as I've made quite clear in my other videos I've filmed and um it's just something that has always affected me um throughout my life whether it's um with previous people I've been seeing or in the bedroom kind of area of life um just confidence I suppose and yeah, it's just one of these things where when I look in the mirror, I don't look past my face, really. And if I do look down, I kind of skip this area, because um, it just doesn't... Yeah, I just don't like that part of myself. So, I have decided that I would do something about it, and I have been saving for a very long time, and I can finally afford it. So, yeah, I am going to get myself a poop job. Um, I understand that it's a very odd subject and um, it's not one that I feel totally comfortable about sharing, but at the same time, um, being kind of this as socially like active as I am, um, it's not something that I can hide. Um, it would be weird if suddenly I just magically had boobs. Um, so I feel like it's probably better to just be open about it with you guys um, and hopefully um, even inspire and help other girls who might be feeling the way I feel and are looking to have it done. Um, and I am by no means am I encouraging it or I am not saying that it's what everyone should do. I'm not saying that if you hate something about yourself that you should go and get cosmetic surgery and get it changed. I am just saying that this is what I want to do. I'm not doing it for anyone else apart from myself. Um, I'm not doing it for my boyfriend. I'm not doing it for my blog. I'm not doing it for anyone. It's just myself. And yeah, it's my decision and that is what I've decided to do. Yeah, so I'm just going to basically speak a bit about uh, what I've had done so far. Um, so for anyone who is interested and also might be looking to have one done themselves, that this is what the sort of process that you go through. So to start off with, I'm having it done with Transform Cosmetic Surgery Group in London. Um, I, like most people when they have something done, I've done so much research about it. Um, yeah, I've had endless, endless hours on the computer researching surgeons and looking up other people's stories and looking up different cosmetic practices. And yeah, so Transform was the one I decided to go with in the end, um, mainly just because you know when you go somewhere you get a feeling about the place that you're in you just you just know what's right for you and yeah as soon as I walked into Transform everyone was so friendly and they just made me feel really comfortable about it because obviously it's a big thing it's a massive thing for me um, it's not something I take lightly or something I've just jumped into it's something I've wanted for a while so I wanted it to be right and just do it properly so what have I done so far? So I have had to get two consultations um, in the run up to your operation. So the first one is probably one of the most interesting ones. So uh, it's basically where you go along and you learn about any unrealistic expectations you might have. And it's also where they can turn you down and say, no, sorry, uh, you're not getting this done for the right reasons or we can't accommodate your request here. So you might have someone who's coming in going, I want 32 double Z boobs. And they'll be like, unfortunately, we don't want to do that for you here. Um, things like that. It's also somewhere where I, I felt so comfortable after leaving my first consultation. Um, they, sp they basically talk you through what to expect, uh, what's going to happen, and also explain to you like the implants, the different kind of implants you can get, um, and also uh, one of the things was is that I I couldn't stress enough to the surgeons and to everyone at Transform how much I didn't want them to look fake. Um, that was one of the things I was most scared about because I didn't want to. I don't want to go from having no boobs to having big boobs. I'm I'm only going to like a big. C, small d, something like that. It's not big at all, but it's just, for me, I just, I'm fed up with just feeling uncomfortable in swimming costumes and underwear and just things like that, and even clothes sometimes that just don't fit right. So, but as I say, I just didn't want them to look fake, and I just assumed that having a boob job, that's what you got. 
But after speaking to Astrid, who was my sort of advisor woman, who was so lovely, if you get to speak to her at any point, if you are looking to do this through someone like Transform, she's amazing. And she basically explained that they only begin to look fake if you go too big for what your body can hold. So it's, and that is another reason why I, I've been umming and ahhing about whether I put this on my social media for so long, literally. I've had endless, sort of like, up until three o'clock in the morning talking to my boyfriend about this and worrying and stressing about what people are going to say. Not that I've ever cared what people think, but it's obviously a nerve-wracking thing putting this on social media. But, um, it's because, I mean, everyday people are getting plastic surgery done all the time and it's so good that people don't realize it but unfortunately the media and the press only show you the bad side of plastic surgery so they show you the katie prices of the world and the botched like bum jobs that go wrong and the boobs that are too big for people but actually the other side of that is they are every day just giving women and men confidence and it still look natural it's still looking natural so that was really nice to hear that actually i can go the size i want to without worrying that they're going to look obviously fake i mean they're not going to look natural because they're not um but they're not going to look what i thought was fake i said what i don't want is two like melons or footballs just like stuck on my chest i was like i was couldn't stress enough how much i didn't want that so that was really nice so then moving on from that, um, that's when you then go away and they obviously have spoken to you about the pricing of it and you decide whether you want to go forward with it um, and also there's loads of different options to paying for it so you can get it through finance these days if you want to but um, I, I just decided to pay for it up front um, and yeah so then you have picked a surgeon by then so I am having it done with Dr Melia Gross um, who is one of the best in uh, Britain and I've literally read so many articles and so many uh, patient reviews on him and yeah he just seems like the kind of surgeon that I want so I've met with him I went along and this is where you have the slightly awkward thing of the whole now you can take your top off and I'm going to examine you which for someone who doesn't like their boobs like I do that was a really hard thing for me because I barely take my top off in front of my boyfriend let alone some strange man but as soon as I walked through the door he made me feel just this sense of like calm and I was just felt so comfortable and the kind of nerves just kind of went away so yeah so he kind of examines them and he lets you know whether you can have your implants under the muscle or over the muscle um yeah which is really good and i found i can have it over the muscle which is the best way to do because it's a quicker recovery there's less pain um things like that so that was really good to hear it's also where you get to pick your size um now breast implants aren't done by like cup eight cup size it's sort of done by grams so you play around with the different sizes and you work out so you put them on in in this special bra and then you can put clothes on so you can see the kind of size that you want and how you want it to look so yeah i've picked the size that i want and it's by no means is it anything abnormally big um as it's just exactly what i wanted so i'm very 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 excited about it but yeah so um as i say I'm not doing this for anyone else apart from myself. I'm also, I'm not saying that this is something that people should do. I'm by no means am I encouraging cosmetic surgery. I am just hoping to maybe help people, as they say, who are considering it and just want some information. Um, and I'm also, just a disclaimer, I'm not being sponsored by Transform. I'm not being paid by Transform. I haven't got this for free. None of that. It's just me wanting to share something with you guys. And I really hope that you respect my choice. And if you don't agree with boob jobs or cosmetic surgery, that's fine. I'm not saying, I'm not trying to change anyone's opinion, but this is my opinion. Um, and also, if you're not interested in finding out any more about this, don't watch the videos that have anything to do with boobs in them. The, the, there'll be an obvious title to them, so you'll know exactly what you're about to watch. So if boob jobs and cosmetic surgery are not your thing, then just avoid these videos. Um, and please, just be mindful of any comments that you decide to leave, because I'm just really scared about doing this. So I'd really appreciate if you can just be as supportive as possible. And um, yeah, and hopefully you enjoy coming along on this ride with me. So yeah, as I say, I'm gonna vlog everything. So I have a pre-op in a few weeks time, which is where they go along and do blood pressures. And then on the 2nd of May is when I have my operation. So yes, I can't believe I've actually just put this on YouTube. This is very odd for someone who doesn't share their personal life like this. But yes, 
um i hope that you have enjoyed watching and that yeah i there's not really much i can say but apart from just be nice please i don't want any hate <laughs> i'm really nervous because i know how bad like people have a, like such a bad opinion on cosmetic surgery but i'm hoping that it will be okay so thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my um, April, no, March favourites video which is coming in a few days time. So yes, I'll see you all then. Bye!